How many of you have ever milked a cow before? Okay. Almost none of you, right? That's what I thought. Because today, I'm going to show you all how to milk a cow. As the president of FarmersOnly.com, I feel like it is my job to teach you all how to milk a cow and save lots of money. I've been milking cows since September of 2002, and I've gathered eight gallons of milk from one cow every day. Now let me repeat that. I have gathered eight gallons of milk from just one cow every day. And milking a cow isn't that hard at all. I feel privileged to be able to teach you all on how to milk a cow. People don't know that you can gather 56 gallons of milk from one cow every week. Before I begin, uh, well, I will first begin by warning you how not to milk a cow. And after you get all my warnings, I'll teach you all how to properly milk a cow. As I mentioned, I'll begin by discussing how not to milk a cow. Milking cows seems easy enough, but did you know you have to rub the udder in a timely fashion way so the muscles can get relaxed up? The cow udder right here, as shown in this picture, is what you need to rub, this whole thing. And these four tubes, or in this diagram too, uh, you can see that these things are called teats. I'll be talking about these today as well. According to farmer Cletus Jenkins, if you don't rub the cow's udder, then you have to power grip the teat and pull it down fairly hard, thus stretching the teat. Milking the stretched udder is like squeezing out the last bit of toothpaste out of its container. It's very hard, but it's possible. <laughs> I've looked far and wide to find the worst way to milk a cow, and I found it here in this video clip found in beginningfarmers.org. <laughs> so that's that. <laughs> this is what uh, most new trained farmers go through. And I want you all to know that you should not go through this at all, because I will teach you how to do it properly. Now that I've talked about how not to milk a cow, I'll explain how to properly milk a cow. To properly milk a cow, you must place one bucket under the whole udder uh, to collect the milk. Second, you must rub the udder like it is a crystal ball. That relaxes the muscles, and the udder will then make it easier to milk the cow and collect the milk. <clears throat> Next, you want to power grip one of the four teats and squeeze it towards the bucket and you will receive the milk. Make sure you alternate which tweet you squeeze. According to dairy farmer Ron Osborne, it takes 45 to 60 minutes to milk one young cow every day, but for older cows it takes about 10 to 20 minutes to milk it because they're used to getting milk. There are a few things to keep in mind when milking a cow. When milk, milk first comes out of a cow, it is warm, and you must keep it cool and keep it below 40 degrees Fahrenheit in a refrigerator, or else it will spoil. Milking your cow daily is a serious thing. For example, according to dairy farmer Mike Roth, states that if you forget to milk a cow for a day, then that cow, the cow's udder will begin to soar and swollen up because it is loaded with eight gallons of milk and it will produce more for the following day. In conclusion, I have taught you the ways of how to not milk a cow and how to properly milk a cow by hand. I believe that milking a cow is one of the manliest things you can do next to cutting wood with your shirt off and grilling a steak with, also with your shirt off. <laughs> next time you drive down to Portland this summer with your family and see a cow, I want you all to put your Jeffrey Dahmer faces on and say to your family, I can milk that. <laughs> <laughs>